Hello, hello, hello. Marcy Ben from Think Premium JA in association with Islandnet. Just dropping another quick video with you here. And this one is the difference between a server and firewall and why your company needs both. So just to make sure people are to clear, both of them actually do play a role in an ICT environment. A server is basically a computer device on a network that manages network resources. Now they server provides services like hosting websites, managing emails, storing files, running applications. And you know, according to palisir.com, a server really is a computer or a system. So it can be a physical computer like a, you know, like you have the big CPUs back in the day. Or it can be like a system or even like it can it can be like a software too for instance or it can be like a group of devices or however you want to do it that provides resources data services or programs to other computers like known as clients over a network so whenever there are computers that share resources with a client machine they're often called servers and you know some examples of a server as i mentioned it can be for example ones that manage mail that i can that can really be something there that you can bear in mind but it can either be hardware or software long story short versus a firewall now a firewall is actually a network security device that monitors and controls incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predetermined security rules so based on those um, predetermined rules, that firewall would be in place. Now, depending on the firewall, you can also use that firewall to plug in, for example, um, a device and you can use that as a point of getting access to the internet connection. You can run administrative tasks to it. But at the end of the day, it's put in place to safeguard the network. So firewalls do tend to work well in association with and Some of them, for example, a Fortinet firewall can actually come with certain antivirus features it can come with um email server protect uh, protection and several other features anti-spam all that good stuff now according to gartner.com a server is an application or an entire network sorry an entire computer a server is an application or an entire computer for example an internet gateway server that controls access to the network and monitors the flow of network traffic now the server can screen and keep out unwanted network traffic and ward off outside intrusion to a private network the biggest thing with a server is that it restricts access to only authorized users it, it blocks out unauthorized users that's the biggest thing with a firewall and that that's like probably the simplest definition i can give it is that it monitors and filters incoming and outgoing traffic so based on what your procedures are your policies that's what it will block all people and some examples of firewall like the fortinet forever we have that at island at fortinet um 60f i believe you also have other firewalls like a windows firewall it comes bundled with like most microsoft windows operating systems so that's something you can expect and it's really like the windows firewall it's like a software based firewall that can help protect computers from unauthorized access so you do have that the windows firewall is a thing um and another thing as well you know it really helps to protect or restrict internet traffic to and out of and within a private network so i don't know if you've had the experience of sending an email but it keeps bouncing sometimes a company's firewall can cause that email not to go through because it's just not set within the company's um security policies to pick up that particular email so it's just not going to allow it to go through now the difference in terms of functions between a server and a firewall which i learned it also um, those equipment sales so we can actually assist you with getting your server or troubleshooting your existing server if you need help with that so you can be me to learn more um servers can host databases they can run applications they can manage user accounts and they can handle tasks like data processing or website hosting or web hosting so with um servers now for instance right where servers are concerned let's say you're trying to have a website set up and you are allowing it to the like e-commerce for instance 
the transactions coming in to the website that's data so that information of course is put into a data base in terms of what's being ordered is put in a queue because many of them tend to have like a shopping cart and the information is sent to the relevant users whether by email to the owner of the website or the owner of the merchandise and the, the email of the merchandise or whoever but servers help with that because servers store send and receive data so they serve something else and they exist to provide services so even a storage device can act as a server and it may provide one service or several and that's coming from hp.com right so you know where servers are concerned it really just it's there to offer a service i don't know how else to put it that that's probably the simplest way i can explain it and the difference between that and a firewall a firewall no a firewall's function is to protect a network from by filtering traffic blocking unauthorized access and preventing security threats like malware and hackers so i think that kind of explains it as best as it can but like servers for instance how they work is it decides what network traffic is allowed to pass through and which network traffic is deemed dangerous and this is according to kaspersa.com so essentially it works out by filtering good and bad traffic trusted or untrusted and you know it that typically is what most web-based networks look like in terms of having a server there to protect it but server um firewalls sorry help to secure private networks and endpoint users at endpoint will be like the customer devices attached to them so you know the server now works with a network host and the network hosts are like the devices that talk to other hopes are groups of endpoint devices or groups groups of um groups of devices that coexist within a space basically a network i'm trying to find the best way to 